Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man and today I'm going to review this Silicon Dust LTE or 5G filter. It blocks frequencies right above the TV band used by cell phone companies, which can improve your TV reception if you live near a cell tower. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive the notification whenever I post a new video. This video was made in partnership with Mint Mobile. Are you tired of overpaying for wireless service? Mint Mobile offers cell phone plans with unlimited data with great coverage starting at just $15 a month. I've personally tested out Mint Mobile's service for about a month now and to my surprise, it's actually better than AT&T in some areas despite half the cost. Here's one example of a side-by-side -side speed test comparison. Needless to say, I'll be switching to Mint Mobile once my free trial is up. Switching to Mint is super easy. The whole process only takes about 15 minutes, and if you get stuck, Mint has a great customer service team to help you through it. Visit mintmobile.com forward slash antenna man to learn how you can get unlimited talk, text, and data with mobile hotspots starting at just $15 a month. For a limited time until July 14th, all plans are just $15 a month. Restrictions apply, see terms in the description. So back to my review of this 5G filter. For those of you who don't already know, 5G wireless service is being deployed nationwide on frequencies adjacent to the TV band. If what I just said flew over your head, here's an easier explanation. TV stations broadcast on RF channels 2 through 36. Cell phone providers use RF channels 38 and above for 5G services, which is right next to the upper portion of the TV band. If you live close enough to a cell tower, 5G frequencies can be picked up by your TV antenna and negatively impact your reception. A 5G filter like this one made by Silicon Dust blocks out all frequencies above the TV band, which prevents any kind of interference from a nearby cell tower. A common question I'm asked is, what's the distance to be considered a nearby cell tower? There's no magic number, but in general, if you can see a cell tower outside your window, or if you have full cell phone service inside your house, it's possible that interference from the 5G band might negatively impact your TV reception. Here's an example of what 5G interference from a nearby cell tower looks like on a local TV station. Notice a quick burst of pixeling and sort of a time pattern. If it looks more like this, where a picture is barely shown at all, the problem is likely a low signal, which will likely require a better antenna setup, but at least you have an idea of what 5G interference looks like now. Installation of this 5G filter is very easy. It just gets connected either before your TV, amplifier, or splitter, depending on your setup. Make sure it's placed before the antenna input on any amplifier, whether you're using a pre-amplifier outside near the antenna or a powered splitter inside. I was able to test out this 5G filter because I know for a fact there's 5G interference at my location on some UHF channels. I've actually always used a 5G filter when testing out antennas, but in this case, I'm going to show you one of my local TV stations without any filter at all. Here's what it looks like. You'll notice that the signal meter jumps around a lot, indicating either multipath or, in this case, 5G interference. Take notice of the quick burst of pixeling I mentioned a few moments ago. When I add the 5G filter, the signal level increased by around 10% and there was no longer any pixeling, so this 5G filter does indeed work. With 5G being deployed in areas nationwide, it's critical that everyone who uses an antenna for local TV reception also has a 5G filter. Even if TV reception is fine now, it's good to invest in a filter in case 5G is launched on a nearby cell tower in the future where it might not be live yet. Be sure to purchase this filter from the affiliate link in my pin comp below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. If you order this and it doesn't improve your reception, please do not leave a negative review of it saying that it does not work. If this 5G filter does not improve your TV reception, it simply means that the problem is not from 5G interference, but rather from a low signal. You'll likely need a better antenna setup. Consider signing up for my antenna recommendation service on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your location, take a look at the frequencies, signal strength, 
and even tree coverage, determine what antenna work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four different TV markets. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. Be sure to like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA or you can sign up to my email list linked in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.